Okay, so you can stand up now. So that goes in there. You're gonna blow here. So this young woman is providing a breath it. sample after being picked up for impaired driving. Yep. It's just after noon on a Monday. Keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing. Okay. Providing a breath sample is the first step in a 12-step drug recognition evaluation process. But before we show you how this ends, let's talk about how we got here. Okay, let's go. We're riding along with Corporal Dal Hutchinson of the Nova Scotia RCMP. He's taking us to a checkpoint where officers are looking for alcohol and drugs. With the legalization of cannabis, obviously there's an increase in, the, in people that are uh, going to consume it. When we arrive, Constable Chad Morrison is already pulling over drivers. Hi there. Morning. How are you today, sir? He's an expert oh, in drug recognition. Anything to drink today, sir? No. Any drugs used today? Nope. Excellent. And that's the way right. most of these encounters end. Try safe. Yep. Have a Merry Christmas. You too. But within the first 30 minutes, officers meet that young woman you saw blowing the breathalyzer. When was the last time you used any drugs or alcohol? Not in a while. Morrison demands that she perform a physical coordination test. Are you, do you feel comfortable doing that? You're, oh, watch yourself there, yeah. He checks her eyes. Okay, you can begin. Okay. And her balance. One, two, three. Based on the way you performed on those tests, I'm, I'm placing under arrest. Okay. He suspects drug impaired driving. Keep blowing. Keep Back blowing, at the detachment, blowing, the woman blowing, blows the breathalyzer blowing, blowing, more than blowing, two and a half blowing, times blowing, the legal blowing, limit. Blowing, and that makes the officer change the reason for her arrest. I'm just explaining you that the, that yeah. the, the sort of the scope of our investigation is shifting from drugs to alcohol. Okay. Morrison decides not to use the new approved drug screening equipment. This is the Dragger Drug Test 5000. So he demonstrates on me. This is the spongy piece that's going to collect your, your oral fluid. Okay. okay. It is the only approved equipment in Canada as of June. And do you know that RCMP are using it right across the country? I couldn't say that it's all across the country. I believe there are other jurisdictions that are using it. Morrison puts my sample in the machine. And how long will this take now? This will take about four to five minutes. It tests for cocaine and cannabis. And so if you look at the bottom, it says cocaine negative and THC negative. The RCMP has expanded training as a result of legalization. There were double the number of courses this year for drug recognition experts. There are still lots of people out there that are driving um, while under the influence of alcohol, and there are still lots of people out there that are driving while under the influence of drugs. Um, we, we consider both to be equally dangerous and important for us to enforce. We're going to be out in full force. We're going to have increased checkpoints. Uh, Their message over the holidays is simple. Using marijuana may be legal, using it while driving is not. Kayla Hounsel, CBC News, Enfield, Nova Scotia.